Am you looking to enslave a bunch of dryads? Okay, one chariot is fine. We have a dwarf. It might be better if he had a different elf. But overall, this seems good. I don't know. Well, that actually gives us poison. I don't know if you want the water of broccolon in hand. That's that's a lot of dryads. Okay. I don't mind using the dryads round one. Like they are definitely the the weaker links in this deck. But uh it's not super likely that we're gonna win the games with the Dryads alone. So currently I have two Dryads. No Percival. So start with the Dryads. Actually, in the back, because we are facing Nilfgaard. I kind of forgot how complex Gwent is at times. Oh, it's definitely a complex game. Bow, barbarian. Bow low. It's definitely not like just like getting out the spreadsheet, but like some games can be, but it's pretty good. Oh my. <laughs> a miner. <laughs> You can steal a five. So what if we wanna we know we wanna win this, of course. We go Pafko Gale and we boost Pafko Gale, so he's a ten. Pafko Gale is really strong, but it's also could be a card that wins us round one. I was maybe like trying to get away from round one too cheaply. Yeah, I mean purify would be nice for that. Most most players don't have uh, locks. I can just play a uh, smuggler. We already have a human on board. He's not gonna kill Pafko. I just got back to Gwent from a four month break. I feel so lost. Looks like a new game. Hmm. I kind of did the same. Similar, very similar. I didn't feel as lost after I like spent like five hours looking at the cards. But yeah, I know what you mean. I didn't quite take like a four month break. I definitely checked out the previous expansion a little bit, so I wasn't like completely lost. I just didn't really play the previous expansion, but I was familiar with the cards. Mm, maybe I'll just go Hawk. Oh fuck, I played on the wrong row again. <laughs> Looks like a new game. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if it looks like a new game. But this is what Gwen needed from the start, just more cards. Oh. You can remove the lock <laughs> when it's on the wrong road now. Kinda have to position like, just play like this. We don't have a lot of good cards. Great idea to move that smuggler, thank you very much. Very next level play there. I, I just keep fucking up with the hawk, because I keep thinking of the hawk as like a damage enemy unit by two. Just, just that. But we have the move as well. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, just keep getting trash from me. Attention, Good luck with that. I, I don't like this card. <laughs> I don't like the RNG nerf guards. Oh crap, you have a poison. He uh, probably ran out of time. He's doing the harmony synergy. <laughs> oh man. Fucking next level strats. <clears throat> Wait. Does this also count as he playing a dwarf? If we play the Dwarven Chariot, would it also count as we having we playing a Dwarf? You play, I don't think so. Add the card to the game. Spawn. Does it count as Dwarf getting played? Yes. But, I don't think so. I kind of want to try it, but at the same time, we are almost losing this one. So, maybe some other time. Right, Hopefully he kills my Mohawk and Marauder. For science! Kill him for science. Oh, crap. Yes! He killed it for science. Okay, let's go. Let's do Dwarven Chariot. Do they get boosted once or twice? Let's play it on the front. No. This doesn't count. It's not played. It just it just blocks uh, them from benefiting from uh, Dwarven tags in the future. But it doesn't uh, trigger them based on the Dwarven tag. Let's pass. But that alone will not be enough. He would also need to play something. He can't pass. He needs to play a card. Stefan is very strong, admittedly, but not enough. So what's next? He's probably holding on to his best cards. <laughs> He's gonna put that on top of his deck. <laughs> he he took a poisoner, right? He took a poisoner. What oh, damn it? What a bastard. <laughs> mm. Well, at this point, you can make the argument for anything. Maybe the war chariot is less important. Okay, he passed. We have an extra dwarf in the deck. We have uh, one extra elf. We do not have an extra hawk. So I guess we're gonna throw away the miner. You might think that I'm not as good in a shorter round, but that's not the case at all. This deck is also very strong in a shorter round. <laughs> He's keeping my card. <laughs> that poison I'm keeping. I know what you got, mate. Okay, we don't need another elf. Fav gives us access to any card from the deck, which is simply going to be 
uh, water broccolon, and we're gonna pull out the great oak. And I think this is a a hand that works. Yeah, this works. So let's keep it. And we gotta go with Fav. In the back. Keep in mind he used up uh, two treasons already, so treasoning me is not an option. That's usually their their go-to, but it's not gonna work this time. That's annoying. And we have a tree. Okay. So let's replay the water of Broculon in the back. They definitely want to play the tree. Uh, let's play the elves here. This doesn't have a specific row, it needs to be played on. I'm probably going to go minor. So obviously this wants to be a big tree. Uh, just a great oak. Uh, smuggler should be played after the minor, after the trained hawk. So we're going to have like 4 damage going on. <laughs> Who says we don't have control? We have control. Fine, I'm just gonna hit uh, the dried in the back. Uh, hit from here. Or maybe the hog, because if the hog dies, that's less important. For Bardenbus, the elves dying and the dwarf dying is more important. Although we have to play the hog in the front, so let's do that. So we play hog in the front, hit my own dryads, and we have a target. After that, it's gonna be minor, after that, it's gonna be smuggler. And Barnabas and uh, Big Tree. The tree is just a single hit or multiple. It's one hit, but you actually don't have to play it as a hit necessarily. You can use it as a boost. So we got Great Oak here, a very strong card. So up for 16 points. Damage enemy by the. Come on. Uh, by the number of cards to the left of Great Oak and boost self by the number of cards to the right of Great Oak. So if you have uh, like 8 units and in one row, then you can boost or, or buff 8 times uh, yourself. No, <laughs> just deal... Okay. You can deal up to 8 damage based on the number of units uh, to your left and you can boost up to 8 times based on the number of units on your right. And if you just land in the middle, then you can boost uh, by 4 and deal 4 damage. That's what I should have said. Smuggler is next, mainly playing it just for the, the trigger. Now, I'm gonna break, no actually we can't break our order, because uh, Fion is uh, blocking uh, Damian from getting killed. So I'm just gonna play in the melee row. Sweet, I was thinking you wanted to destroy the Ballista and forgot about the shield. No, 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 I know about the shield. Also, we can't reach shield because this is a defender, a taunt, effectively. Oh my god, he took my tree! He's gonna kill the dwarf, is he smart? <laughs> I 
He has an enslave. Okay, taking the honk. Should have done that before. He's running a lot of greedy options. We're just trying to outgreed him. Those don't shut down anything, just trying to outgreed your opponent. That's how it works. And most likely we will not use the big tree just to hit. We're gonna boost with it. Maybe kill the dryad in the back. Mm, that's very weak. Okay, made my tree weaker. But it was a good call. If we can play Great Oak. Over here. Deal 2 damage and boost by 4. Okay. You got this? I think so. But maybe he's gonna be like, oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Surprise. Doesn't seem like it. GG! It was a tough game for sure. Managed to beat me round one. But he used up a lot of good options to do that. Well played.